Hey everybody. How you doing folks? Okay. It's Gretchen here. Um, and I'm just getting ready. I'm going to wait just a couple seconds before I get going on this whole live. Um, hey, hi, thanks. Carry, carry your Henry. Yay, I've got some people joining in. Um, <clears throat> so, I am getting ready to do a um, live unboxing of a whole bunch of things that I got in the other day. And I um, am a photographer. For those of you who are not familiar with my work, um, I've been a photographer for a long time. Gave it up for quite a while when I was raising my kids, but then um, I got my first camera from my grandmother when I was like 10. It was an old bellows camera, took eight rolls, eight pictures on a single roll. It was way cool. I still have it. Um, someday I'll do a video and take you through that and what it does. But today I wanted to really hardly wait to unbox this stuff over here. So I've got Instagram Live going. I've got Facebook Live on my page. I've got Facebook Live on my, um, <laughs> on my timeline. My husband is recording me over there um, for something else. Man, we just got to jump in and do this. He's hopefully going to step in. My husband, Bob, he's uh, teasingly refers to himself as my Sherpa. Um, <clears throat> the little things you see up and around me and some of your pictures you might be able to see. I'm in my grandkids' uh, playroom, what we call it at our house. It's uh, all set up. I, I, I'm a retired librarian, so they have tons of books and their stuff, and this is usually their room. So if any of them are watching this, they're going to go, what the heck did Grandma Goo do to our room? But anyway, we're jumping in. So like I said, I'm Gretchen Shepherd, Gretchen Shepherd Photography. My website is imagesbygretchen.com. And um, first shout out is to Art Storefronts for all of the things that they have done to set up and push and go like this and make, make it all happen. Second shout out to my um, Pacific Northwest curator friends and all my social curators with Jasmine Star, awesome. And just a whole bunch of support from people and everything. And I'm going to step up here and wave at some people. Hi, Kissy! Uh, and Brian Rice, yes. All right, we got some people joining in. So, <clears throat> as we go, before I start the unbox, I want to tell you about um, what's going to happen. So there's giant boxes and another giant tall box. But in those boxes, I didn't order another wood print because I have some things in wood and I wanted to show you um, what they look like and the quality because sometimes uh, people decide are trying to decide what they want to put on a wood surface. But <clears throat> this was um, one I got from Art Store. Uh, it's one of my pictures. I'll take it out. It is the Blue Point Diner. If you can see some people up there. So if you're familiar with the movie Stand By Me at all, there's a famous scene where the kids are walking past the Blue Point Diner and a gun goes off. Anyway, this was filmed in Brownsville and uh, this is where the Blue Point Diner is. My daughter has an Airbnb down there and so it's a great place to go. But what's cool about this is <coughs> when it comes, the um, hardware that you might get could either be packed in a separate thing so it doesn't scratch it or it's in an envelope that's outside the original plastic it's on the back of it so like that right there it's really nice and the cool thing about my website uh, that our storefront does for us is that it's just like you can preview which pictures would go on wood and which one wouldn't and it's all I leave it up to the person who's interested in it on whether or not you want to put it on wood or not. Um, some things work, some things don't, but it's all kind of up to your aesthetics. All right, here we go. First box. Now this one. <laughs> this is a huge thing, I think. My oldest granddaughter is kind of obsessed with um, space and the universe, and um, so she wanted a picture of something to go on her roof, on, on the, the ceiling of her room. And um, 
<laughs> I was uh, did a Persed meteor shower shoot one night uh, last year, year before. I was in Ellensburg. Um, still have a lot of uh, light pollution, but it had some pretty good things. It wasn't too cold, so here we go. We're coming to this thing. So what I've got first is I've got a really sturdy box there that it comes in. That's the first long one. And then it's got, geez, look at the size of this tube that this is in. Taped on one end, stapled on the other. I think I'll go for the tape side. Um, <clears throat> oh, what have I got? Manicure scissors, probably not gonna do it. Oh yeah, they did. But it's um, that um, tape that has that fiberglass stuff in it. Uh, strapping tape? Strapping tape. Sometimes. I'm a little excited about this. All right, got that stuck on my finger there. Here we go. And takes the little cap off. Should be able to get the little cap out of there. Peel it down. I've never done one. I, I did an unboxing, a short one of my coasters the other day. You can see that on my Instagram TV and I think on my uh, Facebook stories if you want to go back and see. But, um, Gosh, the coasters are so cool. I was so pleased with them. Yay! Garbage can over there. Oh my gosh. More, more stuffing! I'm getting my garbage can closer, folks. More stuffing. More stuffing. This is great. Okay, this is a sign of a good quality pop. This, so I use, um, with our stir forms, you can have the choice of your fulfillment. Um, vendor that you want to use, your print vendor. And I chose Graphic Dimensions. <coughs> um, Bay Photo is also available. I think and there's another one that I can't quite remember. So there's an outside paper around it that I didn't have to trim that too. So now I've got the stepping off. I've got the outside paper done. And I'm going to see how we go here. All right, so there's an outside piece of extra paper around it. I'm kind of rip that off there. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm being careful. Yep, I should watch what I'm doing, right? has been super nervous over here watching me do this. Because he knows I get excited about this stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. See, okay, that's why it takes a while to do. Oh my gosh. Take a look at this. Who's here? Hey, everybody. Hi. Hey, who's that? Oh, hey. Kaylee. Hi. Hi, Kaylee. Thanks for joining. Huh? Am I still stuck on another piece of tape? I am. There we go. There we go. Okay. Come on in. Help me, help me. So this, oh my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> oh, she is going to love this. Holy Ned! Oh man! There's a galaxy down there. Oh, look at the and the um. Right. So it's away. it's about as large as I would let it get, let it go, but it's for her. You know what? This paper is so heavy, and I think I'll have to look on the order and let put it in the notes later. But I did not order it on the heaviest of papers. So um, wow. That is really cool. I think I ordered it on just this one. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Ah! On hers, I put it on, on um, like a, a matte, just matte photo paper. Oh my gosh, I forgot I did these in loose prints. Oh, holy Ned. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorite pieces from Maui when we were there uh, in 2018. 
Yeah, and that looks super. It does. Oh my gosh. Okay, and one more. Here is another one. Oh my gosh, trainers, trainers, trainers. And this, I oh, hope my sister's not watching. This is. Um, bitty, bitty, bitty. Nope, it's good. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was from a um, in a fabric store several years ago, and I took this of the thread. My sister does a lot of sewing. I thought this would be a cool one for her um, for her birthday, but I also got her some coasters. So if anybody wants this one, hey, that's the thing. If anybody wants one of the things like that beach one, uh, or something that you absolutely feel you have to have and it speaks to your heart, just Pop it in there and I'll get a hold of you and let you know how much it is. So these are the loose ones. These are on really high quality. I think this one's on the um, Beretta um, All Archival. So yeah, this is not po poster board. No, not poster no. Board. <laughs> these are really, really heavy, heavy photo papers. So yay! Those are that's cool. So a little bit of excitement. Now for the big box. What do we have in here? What do we have in here? So I hope everybody's enjoying this because I'm having a good time. Got to wave at somebody here. Oop! Hi! Is that Sarah? Hi, Sarah! Oh my gosh. And Mary Myers is watching. Hi, Mary! Gosh, good to see you. Thanks for stopping in and seeing all this. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so what I'm, I wanted everybody to see was that, you know, not only did things come in an amazing packaging oh, and it's just really um, beyond that so I've had I've gotten something so far on the Beretta paper I got it on the um, standard matte paper um, that was my daughter's my granddaughter's big thing um, the um, other one was on a um, a kind of a semi-gloss. The beach one was on a semi-gloss. I don't do a lot of glossy, real glossy ones. And especially on, <coughs> I discovered on um, on metal and on some of my canvases. So let's see what we've got here. Ugh. Thanks, hon. Put this over here for a sec. Okay. All right, so here I've got a canvas. You'll notice that it is, if you can see that, Pull it up. It's all in plastic. It's ready to hang. This one is the inch and a quarter wrap. It's got a nice heavy piece of cardboard on the front. So when people wonder about shipping and say, gosh, shipping, why, why is that? What is the cost on that? How come? Seriously? To do this myself, to ship it like this, is I've, I've done that. I shipped it to, one time to Texas and one time to New York. Oh my gosh, it cost me an arm and a leg. So I figured that this shipping is really nice and quality and they have all this stuff and I don't have to do it. So <clears throat> those of you who know me well know that I have my own printers here at the house and, and I can do printing. But I can't do canvas, and I can't do um, wood, and I can't do metal, and I can't do acrylic. Um, or what? Oh, those huge posters, yeah. I can do 17 by 22, but not much beyond it. Oh, okay, here we go again. All right. Here we go. What's this picture? Oh, oh, this was an October picture in Yellowstone <coughs> at the Madison River. Um, you guys know that I'm kind of obsessed with a couple places. One is Katmai National Park in Alaska where I went to photograph the bears uh, in 2015. And then in both, in 2018, yes, I went to, in October, went to um, and camping in um, Yellowstone <coughs> and Ye Yellowstone in October is amazing um, the animals are all over the place and but the weather is so unpredictable um, we would wake up in the morning and it would be six degrees and 14 inches of snow and by that afternoon it was 40 degrees and gorgeous sunshine 
and and but you know Yellowstone's four and a half million acres so you kind of have to take it as it goes and then this last February I was there to photograph wolves and everything else in the winter and it was minus 22 yeah I won't show you pictures of myself like that because I've got like 12 coats on all right this is the Madison River oh man the colors came out so well this is a um, the the canvas that I use it I, I select for my things rather than the gloss canvas I like this one because it gives you the details of the picture without um, making it so you can't hang it someplace where there's sun or whatnot all of my stuff is archival really our storefronts works really hard for it and this is a super piece. Oh, it is at least 36 by 20, if not bigger. It's got little um, padding on the back in the corners. So you guys can you there, padding on the back right here. Nice. Really nicely wrapped. I did the mirror wrap on these. You can do a black uh, edge. You can do a mirror wrap. You can do an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, or a three-quarter inch. Um, depends on what you want. And so, yay! Look at that one. Nice. Oh my God. <gasps> All right, I had to do a framed piece because um, I wanted to see what the framing was going to be like. Um, We've oftentimes done all our own framing. I show at a gallery in Seattle called um, Ant Gallery. It's in Seattle Center. And I've shown at some other galleries at um, Shack and Everett and different places. And you always have to have everything um, hanging ready. And I showed at the Larson Gallery in Yakima and different places. And like the one I did in the Larson Gallery was this panorama. And it, it won an honorable mention. I was very pleased for it. Um, uh, but it, um, usually we do our own framing. My husband is really good with that and did all that stuff. And so we can source some frames and do with the stuff we need to do. But if you try to get a custom frame done, it can, uh, uh, seriously, it can take a, $200 print and you try to frame it and all of a sudden you've got $600 into it with math and it's it's like what? So yeah, this one That's the one I did and had that custom framed um, So That's that's a, a thing to do and I, I, I didn't have that size of frame had it done So it was it was pricey, but it was worth it and um, so I wanted to check out what graphic dimensions had in the way of framing and things so that I could see what the quality of the frames were and just try some different ones. So this one is going to be up for sale. Um, it is in a gold floating frame and seriously I was so I'm so pleased already I can just tell the quality of the hanging hardware and how it's meant to go. Oh my gosh. Because if you've ever done your see it's all papered in the back. Um, sealed. It's got the tabs. Oh my gosh, this one. This. Oh wow. Okay, so I got this one in a canvas with a floating frame. I wanted oh to God. see that. <gasps> this is a river in um, in between, not too far from Brownsville, Oregon, not too far from Sweet Home. Um, I can't remember the name of the park right now. We were down at my daughter's. And it is just astounding. See the back is all sealed, the hanging material, the frame is amazing, it's beautiful, it's a big deep frame. 
So you have your choices of like black or white or some gold tone or silver. It depends on what your your um, choices if you're doing stuff. Oh my gosh. Hey Jamie, hi. All right, great. So this is another thing with framing. Um, hi Jen. Oh, is there somebody else? All right. Um, the framing is such I. I I looked. You, you look on. I, I looked at the prices on these, and I know I uh, the markup is really low on the framing. So if you need something framed, <coughs> it's a great way to go to get it all done, and it comes ready to put on your wall. Oh man, I love this one. All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. This one is another one. This is another, it looks like this is another canvas. Huh. Did I get, oh, I know why I got this one as a canvas. Because it's the skinnier. It's a three quarter inch wrap. And again, has all that kind of stuff on it. I know what I wanted to do. I got this one for it. So, where's the wood of the Blue Point Diner? Okay. This is another one of the Blue Point Diner. So, um, there is. The reason I got a second one is because the Blue Point Diner door in um, Brownsville. And then my daughter had mentioned that she was interested in actually having that. And then Bryn at her Airbnb has a gallery that I show at also. So when all this opens up and things are back in standby me days are back in, in full force, I'll be able to have some of these things down here. But if you like it, you let me know. This one is in a small canvas wrap. Um, if you're a Stand By Me friend, fan, or if you know anybody who is, it would be an awesome gift. And I wanted to get this to show you kind of comparison to. So this is the same image as this one. And you can kind of see the difference in what it looks like on wood up there and what it looks like on canvas again all ready to hang oh this is cool I love this very nice all right oh, there's still stuff in here oh my goodness oh my goodness so this one where's my scissors Thank you. Turn around. Yep, Nick, Patrick, you just ship it, right? Okay. So, <clears throat> I appreciate you guys not being worried about my expertise on being perfect because I'm spending a little more time on being careful about um, this. This is another canvas. This is a gift already. I know this one. And my dear friend in or in Arizona. I will not take it all the way off. I'm not going to take it out. But you can see this is called One in a Million. Yeah, this one is also on canvas. I guess I did order more on canvas than I thought. Huh. Oh well, I like canvas. Here we go. That's for Debbie. That's for Debbie. Ah, here we go. Here's a medal. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the the wrapping. The, um, you can already see the um, frame on the back for the um, standing off the wall. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here I am. Please all see me. So, um, you might, 
trying to think, you might think my photos are all over the place. Really, I am fine art, landscape, nature, wildlife, and I do abstracts. I just finished a book called um, A Different Vision, and it is all quotes and my photos, and my abstract work, and different quotes from everybody from, oh, a Zen master, to Rumi, to um, Benjamin Disraeli, to Winnie the Pooh, and Jiminy Cricket. Yep. So, uh, so that's the way that goes. Um, here's, okay, this has two medals in it. Yay. These medals are some black and whites. Black and white is actually one of my very favorite medias to work in. Um, I started out as a kid learning darkroom early on in high school. Um, my grandmother used to tell me stories about the darkroom she had at her house and uh, before her husband died, my, before my grandfather died when my dad was very little. And it was her that I got my first camera from. So um, black and white has always had a special place in my heart. Um, I had a great aunt, my grandmother's sister, who was a photographer and kind of followed around some pretty famous people around in the early 30s. This is on the way to Death Valley. This is in metal. Here you go, everybody. Can kind of see that up there on that? Yeah. This is awesome. Hey, Terry. Hi, Carolyn Holmes. Oh my gosh. Hi. Who else is there? Becky Oaks. Hi, Becky. Lots of people. This is great. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Beautiful goo. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, my, my niece, uh, Jen, and nephew are in the middle of finishing up their house that burned <clears throat> to the ground in November, and so they're building a new house, and that'll be ready in a couple months, and she just told me that she needs some new art for the wall. I think that might be true. Um, hi, Terry. So this was on a road trip to Death Valley, and oh my gosh, you can see so much in there, in the detail on this metal. It's so awesome. Okay, that one. What's this one? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I think, yes, this one, Terry, you'll like this one. <coughs> um, this is up the Mount Baker, this is up actually at Mount Baker. Um, I can't remember when I was there. It was a while back. But you know, here during the, while we're at stay at home, we have a chance to go through some of our old stuff and find out and figure out what works really well in black and white, what stays in color, and some other things like that. And then I got another cut to make here. And. <sighs> This one is another larger one. This is a snow scene. This is part of some glaciers up toward Mount Baker. Mount Baker is one of our active volcanoes here in the state of Washington. One of them. We have what, four? Five. Five. Yeah, woohoo! You know, rocking and rolling in Washington. And uh, Glacier Peak, Mount Baker. Um, Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, Mount, Helens. And, and Mount Adams? Adams. Oh, Mount Adams too. All right. So, yeah. But this is another one in black and white. I love doing snow in black and white. Really do. I think it's and and trees.